Hi guys, my name is Christine, and today I'm talking about everything you have been taught about manifesting abundance is wrong, okay? So, one of the things that I've heard when it comes to people talking about abundance and trying to create more abundance in your life, trying to manifest abundance, um, one of the big things that I've learned that people have said that I think is truly wrong is when people are talking about the specifics of things like oh I need to earn this specific amount or um, I need to earn this amount but it needs to come in this specific way right and really getting too detail orient oriented basically and it's not a good idea to get detailed orientated because when you're doing that sort of thing it's, it's almost like especially in the terms of manifesting because you're trying to allow something to come to you Right? But if you're trying to force it by it has to come this kind of way, it has to be this certain amount, it has to be this at this certain time, it has to come in this certain amount of time, you know, like this certain time frame basically, it puts so many restrictions on the universe and on God or whatever you want to call that creative force that brings things to you and manifests things for you. Okay, you can't be too specific about these things, right? You need to kind of have a bit more relaxed and peaceful approach because I feel like when you get too specific about something, it can often have an opposite effect and it can stress you out. But what you want to do is you want to get to a state where you feel quite peaceful about the things that you're trying to manifest and you want to live peacefully and live contentedly with the knowledge that whatever you want in this life, such as abundance, is going to come and it's going to come when it's good and ready basically and you have to be at peace with that and once you become more at peace with that you're starting to let go and once you let go that's when those things tend to manifest in your life but you have to let go of it you have to let go of all these specific things because it's not a good idea to cling to them because it often has the opposite effect and it often has the opposite desired effect of what you want to happen okay so you basically you need to focus more than on um, you know, what it would feel like to have, be abundant, to have abundance in your life. It's much more, it's always much more better to focus on the feelings, okay, um, and the peace, right, and focusing on inner peace, basically, right, inner peace is so important, to feel peaceful throughout your day is one of the best things that you can do to manifest the things that you want in your life, including abundance, okay, so when you are focusing then on abundance, like perhaps you're doing like an, a, a meditation or something like that, what you need to be focusing on when it comes to abundance is you need to be focusing on those feelings of prosperity. You need to be focusing on those feelings of security of what that abundance will bring to you. Okay, you've got to be focusing on the feeling, okay, rather than on the specifics and the how and when is it going to happen sort of thing. Okay, so it's, you have to focus on the feelings of it. Now, sometimes feelings can be a bit difficult to build up. I, I struggle with that sort of thing. Um, I struggle to uh, feel a lot of different things. I've been numb to quite a lot of different things in my life with, when it comes to my emotions and stuff. I find it very hard to get really excited <laughs> about stuff. Um, um, and I found, and sometimes I find it even difficult to be, get the feelings of happiness and things like that when it comes to certain circumstances. Um, so for example with me like I remember when I first got pregnant and uh, being so well with this pregnancy I've actually had a miscarriage before um, but with this pregnancy that I'm currently having which is a healthy baby thank god touch wood as well um, is that when the, the first few weeks the first few weeks of being pregnant I was very fearful um, I was very scared because I'd had a miscarriage before Okay. And because I'd had that miscarriage, I found it very difficult to enjoy this pregnancy because there was a lot of fear. Okay. And I found it very difficult to be able to enjoy the moment. So like when I go to scans, when I go to appointments where I hear the baby's heartbeat, I find it very difficult to just enjoy those moments and to feel anything because I'm so worried, I guess you could say. And sometimes I just don't feel anything, you know, you know, you know, I, I wish I could cry. I wish I could be joyful at the, the, the sight of my baby. I wish I could feel all these different things. I wish I could just enjoy the moment, essentially. But I find it very difficult to do so because of past experiences, right? So that's just an example for me, right? So it can be very difficult then for a lot of people to think about abundance and to, to, and to, to feel abundant, 
to feel that security of wealth because perhaps it's something you've never experienced before perhaps you've always been in poverty or some kind of lack when it comes to to that right um so it can be very difficult so what i would what i would suggest that you do and which what helps me is to focus on small things focus on small abundances first rather than thinking of your own abundance right sometimes it's a good idea to just go outside in nature it, or it doesn't even have to be in nature it could be in the concrete jungles basically um, and just notice basically the abundance of whatever is there so if you're in nature it could be the abundance of trees it could be the abundance of leaves on the trees it could be the abundance of insects it could be the abundance of birds it could be the abundance of grass if you're on a beach it could be the abundance of sand it could be the abundance of the sea I so just be out there witnessing the abundance. If you live in a city and you don't, you're not surrounded by nature, then look at all the cars. Look at the abundance of cars. Look at the abundance of shops and all the money that's coming in and out of those shops. Right? Look at the abundance of people. Look at the abundance of bricks. Right? And just focus on those kinds of abundant things first before moving on to your own specific abundance where there may be a bit of tangled sort of energy. But what you want to do first is you kind of want to build it up and then get to the point where you can start focusing on your own abundance and things like that, and that can really help. So I just also quickly want to discuss the right way to use affirmations because sometimes people try to attract things into their life by using affirmations. And sometimes affirmations can be really powerful but only if you're doing it the right way, okay? So the right way to use affirmations is you need to feel what you're saying. You need to feel what you're repeating back. Okay, so don't just say things like, I am wealthy. You have to feel it too. Right? You can't just say it. Saying it is not enough. You need to put some energy into it as well. So I always say to some people as well is that if you're using affirmations, don't just lay there you know while you're doing them why not go for a walk while you're doing it, or do some exercise where you're saying when you're saying your affirmations to bring some energy into it right and to really feel it too because a lot of the time people use affirmations in this way they just sit there and they just say them and they don't have any sort of energy behind it and they're just repeating things basically just parroting them right and they're not feeling it they're not experiencing it in their body so i would say to you first is that the best way to do it, especially if you struggle with feeling these things that you're trying to manifest, such as abundance, right? Then first, just by moving around, moving your body while you say the affirmations, just to get some energy going, right? Maybe you just do that for a few days, right? Where you just say the affirmations and you feel the energy in your body because you're moving, right? And then once you get used to that, then start trying to feel those emotions like I am wealthy and start to feel the wealth coming towards you. Start to feel what it would be like to be wealthy. Start to feel what it would be like to have all that amount of money or whatever it may be that you're trying to attract when it comes to abundance. Okay? And that's one of the best ways that you can use affirmations. You really need to put more energy and feeling into it because otherwise it's just not strong enough and they won't work for you. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.